right away, the machines go down and I what's going on? She didn't wake up that morning thinking that she was going to go through all of this. Um, and it's like most accidents, you know, it changes your life. It basically, in the blink of an eye, your life has changed forever. I kept my hands right like that and put away and I'm screaming. Punch press injuries, these are machines that basically are cutting or molding objects. Um, and so basically, most, in most instances, um, the, the person is manipulating a part. In her case, if you look at the pattern of the amputations, you can see clearly that she was basically manipulating or holding the part in the machine, and then the machinery comes down and it crushes the, the finger. I don't think in anything, my blunt goes down, but I don't care. You know, my mind is on my children. What I do? How I'm working now? Nobody get, nobody get me job. She had lost a significant uh, amount of digits on the one hand, and then she had lost basically two of the digits on the other hand. What I do now? My, I can work right now. So what we proposed is we said, well, look, we know that this is a, a good operation where we remove this entire finger, and that's a leap of faith. It takes a lot of courage for a patient to sign up for an amputation. But what we said is we said, well, look, instead of us discarding that part and throwing it away, let's recycle it and let's use it to improve the function on your other hand. And so what we did is we basically took that index finger stump, which doesn't seem like a lot, and what we did is we transplanted it onto her other hand, onto the middle finger. This is a surgery that you know can take six, eight hours to perform. So you invest all that time, and then at the end, you release what's called the tourniquet to see if the finger is going to pink up, and that's what tells you if it's going to uh, come alive. And, it's, and as soon as you pink up, you get this sense of relief. Everybody just kind of—it's like a collective sigh in the operating room. This is alive. This bone, even though it looks like it's been there forever, that bone is actually the bone that was in her opposite index finger in her opposite hand. That's why he take, take, try to take out this one for more functional. I wash my teeth, mm -hmm. I, uh, I did my hair. She wants to be as independent as possible and I think we can give her that. And so, you know, she wants to be able to take care of herself like we all do. We, none of us want to really be a burden and we want to contribute to, uh, to, to society in general as much as we can. Right now I feel like I have my hand complete.